Elijah said, I only remain. God said, uh uh, don't talk like that. I've got seven additional thousand. I've planted them in strategic places. And they have not bowed down their head unto the devil. You be a generational changer. A generational influencer. The devil has his influencers. They are invading the nets and everywhere. Let the influencers for the kingdom rise in the power of the kingdom. Invade everywhere. Invade internet. Invade every technology. For the kingdom of God. Because when the enemy comes like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise his standard. The standard has been raised. And the devil cannot match it. Brother Bram said, Brother Bram said, don't always just point people to failures. You will create consciousness of failure in them. But point them to those sheep that are sailing gloriously to the shore. He said, you are showing them how bad and wicked the world is getting. He said, but it's high time we showed them how glorious the bride is becoming. You cannot be the same under this blessing of these last days. You might not know what God is doing in your life, but let me tell you, you are changing. From glory to glory is changing you. This word is working upon the atoms of your body. There's a change going on and you will realize it one of these days when a challenge comes to provoke it. It will be provoked and we will be ready to give the reason for the hope that is in us. If all these windows were opened and I said, Sister Gwen, jump through the window. And she will tell me, why do you want to embarrass me? And I say, look, you've got what it takes to jump through the window. And she's still feeling like she cannot jump. Leave her alone. You know why? She hasn't got something to provoke it in her. If she suddenly sees 10 lions invade this place, Sister Gwen will be outside. You will call it supernatural. It is, that supernatural didn't come from anywhere. It's already in you. That is what I'm saying tonight. The power to do the greater works is already in you. In the message, look away to Jesus. I always describe it like this. Brother Bram said we are dropping down. You know why? Because in this spiritual race, we are far outrun all the powers of the Antichrist. And the prophet said, everything will slow down so that they can catch up. <laughs> Do you see how far we have gone? You are not tapping into your blessings. The level of grace we have received is already many thousands of miles above what the devil can offer. That's what the word said. Look away to Jesus. He said, God is only relaxing it. Waiting for this other side to catch up. He said, when they catch up, watch the third pull then. These things that have been temporarily manifested will come in its full power then. This is the church that we carry it. It's not another generation. It is right here. So we may look like weaklings. But don't dear us. Something is taking place. Even we ourselves, we have not come to the realization of the power we pack. But I know one of these days, something will provoke it. So while we have opportunity, let us be accumulating. Let us be gathering more powers. We shall need every bit of it in the days that lay ahead. And in doing, be a channel of blessing. Don't leave the little ones behind. By the way, by the way, how many parents want more revelation of God? Do you know the secret? Very simple. 
Let me show you by the scriptures. When God came down in Genesis 18, and he finished with Abraham's side, and he was going to go to Sodom, the Bible said as he was going, he stopped. He said, shall I hide anything from Abraham on two grounds? Knowing that he shall be the heir to these things. And number two, knowing that what God bless you, knowing that whatever I show him, he will teach. Who? He will teach his children. So God is not going to hide revelation from Abraham because Abraham is not a reservoir, he's a channel. Whatever he is taught, he will teach his children. There will be a generational pass down of every blessing. The reason some parents are not stable, are not established, is because they have become reservoirs. Reservoirs only take, it doesn't give it out. And if you don't manage it and um, uh, uh, try to manage it very well, even the ones they are taking will become stale and become a cistern that will become the habitation of undesirable things. Be a channel of blessing. <clears throat> I just thought I should pass that along. And uh, when Pharaoh couldn't get any negotiation and he came under the heavy pounding of death that even affected his own family, he let Israel go. Now as they were ready to go in that excitement, God said, wait a minute. There's a deal for this engagement. The kingdom of God is not as loose as people think it is. You hear people say, if we have a structure, some people will not be misbehaving. Eh, I hope you are not getting anointed by Nicolaitan spirit. Because this was the same saying <laughs> that was predominant in those era that started creating hierarchy of human structure in rejection of the kingship of God over his heritage and they began to create a structure if brother Dele misbehave let him report to brother Luke if brother Luke gives him query and is not and brother Luke also misbehave he reports to brother Gerard and on and on like that then the question become as they begin to develop it then it will come to one person now this one person it came to can he also misbehave or not? Then we began to look at ourselves and we realized the poverty in our structure. But because we do not want to repent, we decided to say, that person, let us call him Pontiff Maximus. Let us make him infallible. And by that, we began to say that God is in the church and not in the word. You know, those things came out of fear. That what if this hierarchy, this head of hierarchy also misbehave, who will judge him? The prophet said when Israel chose to humanize their leadership by looking for a human king, he plunged them into the greatest darkness of their life. I want you to know that the economy of the message is still governed by God himself. And there is no looseness as you suggest. Ah, 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 ah. It takes the Holy Spirit to stay within the boundary Amen. of the word. Amen. And this is what the angel Amen. is announcing. Amen. God said, this is not a free for all movement. Amen. As to say that everybody will choose how they like to move. No, sir. Amen. There is a leadership in here. And I want the ministry and I want the church to know that there is a leadership in here. The leadership on our road to our promise is beyond human intelligence. We've got to accept divine intelligence 
That was why when the seals became open, the prophet said, you got no thought coming. Eh? You got no ideas coming. You've got no wish coming. This is the way I would like to do it. That was long time in denomination. This is a new day. This is a corner bench. <laughs> so he said, behold, I send an angel before thee. To keep thee in the way. It will keep you in the way. Huh? And uh, it will bring you into the place which I have prepared. If you follow the angel faithfully, the land of your inheritance is sure. Now, beware of him. Be very, very careful. And do what? And obey his voice. Provoke him not. For he will not pardon your transgressions. For my name is in him. Then he went further to say, but if you will obey him, if you will do as he says, all the blessings that I have, I will release unto you. And I will never allow any disease of the Egyptians to plague you not to talk of destroying you. Look, the strength of Israel can never lie. God meant every statement. So meaning that in this journey, our understanding, our brain, our intellect, our everything is the angel of the Lord. The pillar of fire never appeared for nothing is to guide us into our land of promise is to guide us into our inheritance but there's a challenge the leader we are to follow many of us cannot see him 